Okay, for 6b, we have another one where we want to find all these different uh, pieces here. Uh, and then they give us two new vectors. For the first part, that notation means you're talking about magnitude, which means you want to do the square root of a squared plus b squared. Because you have a v inside, your a is going to be 1 half and your b is negative 7 halves. So let's put that into the formula and we will uh, work that out. So you have 1 half squared goes inside there plus negative 7 halves squared. The negative has to go inside the parentheses, not outside. This is never going to be a, a minus. It's always going to be a plus. Okay, so you've got negative inside there. We're going to square top and bottom. So if we square the top and bottom for the first fraction, you get 1 fourth. For this one, when you square top and bottom, you're going to get positive uh, 49 fourths. When you add that together, you're going to get the square root of 50 fourths. Now, we can work with the top and bottom. We can take the square root of top and bottom separately. If you do the square root of 4, it becomes 2. For 50, we can write that as 2 times 25, but the square root of 25 is 5, which means that you'll get a, uh, a 5 that will come out, uh, and you have a 2 that's left over inside, and nothing can't, you can't cancel inside a square root. So that would be as far as you would go uh, with magnitude of V. For the W, we have the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 144 plus 25. We square both of those separately. Square root of 169, and that's going to give you just 13. So we get a, a whole number on this. No, no square roots necessary on that one. For this, uh, we're going to do 4V minus W. You're going to do 4 times. We're just going to put in the, the vector here. Uh, 1 half I minus 7 halves J. We'll go inside there. I make a bold J here. Okay. Uh, and then we have a minus W, so minus 12I plus 5J. Okay, so you just put that inside uh, just like that. So you just substitute, take out the letters, replace them with the, the I and J notation that goes with that, and then we're going to multiply through. 4 times a half is going to give you 2, so you get 2I minus. This uh, will give you 28 over 2, which is 14. So we get that one. Then the minus will apply to both of those. So minus 12i minus 5j. Okay, so then we're just going to add like terms together. 2 minus 12 is negative 10i. Negative 14 minus 5 is going to be a negative 21j. So again, add the i's and the j's together separately. Careful with your minus signs there. Negative 10. And then negative 14 minus 5 is negative, it should be negative 19, it should be, not negative 21. Okay, so negative 10i minus 19i is, should be your answer for uh, part 3. Uh, this one, unit vector u in the same direction as w, that is going to be uh, w, w divided by its magnitude of w, uh, just like that. So be, again, be careful what it's asking you to do here. So because this could either be a V or a W. So pay close attention to that because it, it refers to two different vectors and you'll get two different answers. W, it means they want us to use uh, the 12i plus 5j on top. And the bottom, magnitude of W, we already did in part two and that we get 13. And then we can just write our answer as fractions. Don't forget to do this last step. You wanna make sure that you separate those into two different fractions. So 12 thirteenths i plus 5 thirteenths j separated into here. Nothing more you have to do. Don't change these into decimals at all. You want to keep them as exact values whether they have uh, square roots or fractions.